Okay, let's go ahead and find the surface area of this cone. And uh, this is not that difficult of a problem. However, we do need to know the formula. So if you happen to remember the formula, this is enough information right here for you to actually apply the formula and give me the surface area of the cone. Now, if you do know how to do this, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer in the comments section. Now, of course, I'm going to show you the formula here in a second, but a cone is what we kind of classify as a basic figure. Now, let me put a couple other basic figures here, and we'll talk about why I'm bringing this up. So a sphere would be another one. Uh, maybe like a cube would be another basic figure. A cylinder is another basic type of figure. A pyramid is another basic type of figure. Now, I'm bringing this up because a cone, along with these other shapes, you're going to, want to, you're going to have to um, uh, learn all right, and write down somewhere along your study of basic geometry the formulas for volume, surface area, and area. Okay, so of course, so you have like area of a rectangle, and you need to know the difference between uh, volume and surface area and area. Okay, so we're going to have formulas for all these various shapes. Of course, we're just going to focus in on the cone for this particular video. But as you study basic figures, you're going to have, again, formulas for volume, surface area, and area. Now, you don't want to confuse these formulas. Okay, so in other words, if you're asked to find the volume of a sphere, you don't want to use the formula for surface area. Okay, that's a pretty common uh, mistake that students do. And you're going to have to pay attention to the units of measure as well. So when we're talking about volume, you're always talking about uh, units of measure, uh, I'm sorry, um, units cubed. So for example, if we're talking about the radius and let's say it's in inches, your volume would be in inches cubed and your surface area would be in inches squared. Okay, so surface area and area are going to be units squared, whereas volume is cubic units. So all these little details count, but again, we're going to just focus in on the cube here. Now, I bring up this basic um, figures, okay, things that you study in uh, algebra and in geometry, because uh, in contrast, if you had some sort of crazy figure like this, I'm just kind of drawing something, and I said, hey, find the surface area of, of this object. Well, you can do this, but there's no formula for this. So we're going to have to use what? Well, we're going to have to use calculus. And if you haven't checked out any of my uh, videos on uh, the basic understanding of calculus, uh, those are some of my more popular videos. Matter of fact, I have one um, calculus video. I think I have has, has over uh, 5 million views. So people are <laughs> quite interested in, hey, what is calculus? And calculus helps us solve problems like finding the area, surface area, volume of all sorts of crazy figures. But we're going to focus in uh, again on the cone, and I'm going to give you uh, the formula to find the surface area of a cone in just one second. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, well, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. All right, so here is our cone. And you can see here, we have a base, all right? So this would be like the base, the cone. And then we actually have the cone. So what we're interested in is in this length right here, okay, the, this length from the, the top of the cone, okay, with this little vertex, the peak of it going down the side. It's, this is, don't confuse this with the height. This is not the height of the cone. This is the distance along uh, the side of the cone. All right, so we're going to need that. Okay, we're going to call that L. And then the base is going to be a circle. Okay, so we're talking about a circular cone, not like an elliptical cone. So we're uh, this whole base down in here is a circle, and we're going to need the radius of that circle. So if you have this uh, length along the, the side of the cone here and the radius of the base, then we can find the surface area. So let's go ahead and take a look at the formula, the surface area of a cone, a circular uh, cone, is going to be pi okay, times the radius times this length. All right, so we're going to take this times this and multiply by pi, then we're going to add it to the area of the base. Okay, so the area of a circle right down here is simply going to be pi r squared. And that is it. Okay, so there's the for, uh, formula. Okay, now if you want to write that down and go ahead and give this problem a try again, it's pretty simple. It's basically just an application of plugging in the values into the formula. But I want to talk about a couple of uh, 
important little details here. So let's go ahead and actually solve the problem, and then we'll talk about, we'll emphasize some important things. Okay, so here we got surface area of a cone. Uh, we have our formula. Now, you know, this is why you take notes. You don't want to memorize all this. There are some things that you want to try to memorize, but, you know, the surface area of a sphere, surface area of a cone. You have the surface area of a cylinder, the volume of a cylinder, volume of a cone. You know, you got to mix up these uh, formulas. That's why you have to have very detailed, excellent, and organized notes. Okay, so you should reference your notes to pull these formulas out. And there's some uh, formulas you want to kind of remember by, excuse me, you want to remember by uh, heart, okay, like rote memorization. But things like this, you probably just want to look up and make sure you're using the right formula. So if you're in doubt on something, unless it's a test, if you can look up and double check that you have the right formula, you should always do so. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this in. So we have uh, pi. The radius is 2, so we'll plug that uh, 2 in there. For the radius, the length along this side here is 7. Okay, so we got that 7. And then we're going to add that to pi r squared. Of course, the radius is 2. And when you do this, you always want to set up. Always write your formula like this and then set up your uh, values. Plug in your values just like this and double check. All right, it's very, very important. Before you do anything else, double check your information that you plugged in everything correctly. Okay, this is uh, really important because students sometimes go real quick and they'll plug in. They know what they want to plug in, but they'll write the wrong number down or they'll grab the wrong piece of information. So always double check your, or your uh, values when you plug anything into a formula. Okay, so let's go ahead and get going here. So we have 2 times 7. That's going to be 14. So this right here, this whole um, product, we can write this as 14 pi. And then 2 squared is 4, so 4 times pi is 4 pi. So how many total pi do we have? Well, it's 14 pi plus 4 pi, so we have 18 pi total, okay? So the surface area of this particular cone is exactly, now this is one of the details I want to stress to you, okay? Exactly 18 pi units squared. So if, for example, if our radius was like 2 inches, and our length along the side of the cone was seven inches, this would be inches squared. So it's uh, critical that you put in your units of measure, okay? And if uh, you're given units of measure, do not forget to do that. But you need to understand one thing. This, uh, when we have, uh, when we just leave the pi like so, this is an exact answer. This surface area is exactly equal to 18 pi. Now, if I wanted an estimation, I would take this pi and I would plug in uh, 3.14, uh, 4 pi, okay? So now this is an approximation or, or an estimation. So if I replace that pi with 3.14, I'm going to get uh, 56.52, and that's approximately the surface area of the cone. Now, a pretty close approximation, but if I use more digits for pi, I'll get a, a more accurate answer, okay? But notice the little um, symbology here, the notation. This is equal, okay, that means the surface area is totally 100% equal to 18 pi. And this notation right here, this symbol is approximately, okay. So you got to be very specific about what units of measure, I'm sorry, what notation and the units of measure that you're using. So, you know, this is not just a simple application of a formula. You know, there's all these little details that count when you're doing anything with area, volume, surface area, etc. Okay, so hopefully, uh, you know, you like this little video, and if that is the case, go ahead and consider smashing that like button. And by the way, if you got this correct, 100% knew the formula, I mean, I mean, if you knew the formula without looking it up on Google or, or just referencing it, nice job, okay? So that's, you know, I wouldn't even expect uh, a student to remember the formula, unless it was like a, a geometry quiz or a geometry uh, test, you know, depending on your teacher, you might have to memorize that formula for a test, but if you were able to rec recall that, that's pretty impressive. But the bottom line is, um, as long as you learned how to apply uh, this particular formula to, uh, to find the surface area of the cone, well, then I think I did my job. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of the content I have on my channel. And, uh, you know, stick around because I'm posting new material all the time. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.